Welcome to Pflugerville Community Church and one of our many senior fitness videos. We're so glad you're here. Be sure to subscribe and like our channel so you won't miss any of our future postings. Also, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to join our live Zoom class, we have them Monday through Friday at 9.55 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we offer senior fitness. Then on Tuesday and Thursday, it's breathing, balancing, and stretching for seniors. It all starts at 9.55. You can request your personal invitation through the email address shown on your screen. We'd sure be excited to welcome you. We open each session with a meaningful scripture and prayer. Scripture this morning is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 46. And the NIV reads, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in the God my Savior. For he looked with favor on his lowly servant. Amen. And aren't we all God's lowly servants? As Luke recorded Mary's words when she visited Elizabeth before our Lord's birth, our Lord's birth, th these words really inspired me and rang true to, to my heart and my soul. I pray that they do to you. That our praise for our God would be upon our lips and upon our hearts now and forevermore. May God's will truly be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody up. We're Pflugerville Community Church, the PCC Health Nuts. And uh, we're going to start the music and get going. Um, let's go ahead and just do some sidestepping. Back and forth. All right, loosen up those arms. Got to get them moving. Let's go ahead and loosen up those shoulders, front to back. And everybody laugh. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and march in place. All right. Let's kick it out. Widen up those hips. Now we have the beats. Back in. All right. Get those knees up. All right, shoulders up, back, and down. Y'all don't forget that. We're gonna bring our arms out. Widen those circles up, just get them stretched out and mobile. All right, I want y'all to bring one back at a time. Just watch your shoulders, you know what you can do. Now back to the middle, step out, a little bit bigger now if you can. All right, now we're gonna step out this way. We're gonna count it out also. Bring those arms out, let's do that. For 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in. Don't forget those deep breaths along the way. In through your nose. Let's bring it up. 
and out through your mouth. Roll those shoulders back. All right, sidestepping again. All right, now we're gonna do some chest extensions. Bring it in and out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll them again. Whew. All right, here's where I gotta move up. All right, back and forth. But what I want you to do is try to kick your butt with your heel. Kickbacks. All right, keep that posture up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the middle. We're gonna do knee to elbow. So y'all get in position for that. Bring that knee up. Opposite elbow. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, back to a march. I'm getting some deep breaths in, y'all don't forget that. <laughs> if I forget, bring your arms up. All right, we're gonna kick out again, but this time we're gonna sway it. All right, back and forth. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right. We're rolling those shoulders back. I'm getting some deep breaths in. Y'all go ahead and stop. And bring it in. And blow it out. Let's do that one more time. In and out. All right, rolling out our shoulders. Let's go ahead and grab a water break and we'll grab our ball. You've got your ball, have a seat. Start with a little bit of stretching. We're warmed up a little bit. Use your fingers, grab that ball and roll it down. Easy stretch on the lower back. You can try to touch those toes, keep your head up. Looking ahead of you, bring it up. All right, same thing, one more time. The ball's on the ground now. Go ahead and rest it there. I want you, you're about mid chair. Not on the front, we don't want anybody losing their balance. All right, go ahead and rest both feet on the ball. I want you sitting up straight. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring this back, we're gonna hold it, we're gonna kind of suspend ourselves. The ball is there for balance if you need it, bring it back forward. All right, bring it this way. I want you to bring your arms up. I want you to tighten your core, like we're doing crunches, and I want you to hold it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now rest it. Nice deep breaths. All right, now I want you to go ahead and bring the ball to your right foot. All right, you are resting that right foot on top. You're gonna roll it to the front. Let's loosen up these ankles. You're gonna roll it to the back, and if you roll it far enough, you might get a little stretch in that calf. Bring it back forward again, and to the back. To the front one more time, and to the back. Now roll it in circles. 
and roll it the other way. I'm starting to do this every day. It's really important to keep those feet mobile. All right, stop there and move it over. All right, same thing, opposite side. Remember, we're gonna point out and we're gonna bring it back to the front. We're gonna bring it back. Let's do that one more time. Stretch and back. Now let's go ahead and roll it both directions. All right, oh, and don't forget, we're sitting up straight. All right, opposite way. All right, go ahead and roll that ball. Roll it, roll it, roll it back up. All right, let's go ahead and what we call strike a pose. I want you to go ahead and bring your right foot out to the side. I want you to point that toe up if you can. All right, I want you to make sure that you've got your shoulders up, back and down. Whenever you bring that knee up and elbow down, it's like a mini crunch. Bring it out, bring that arm back, nice extension. Mini grunt and back out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We gotta call it a mini crunch because we do a lot more of that. And we don't want people to be intimidated, right? No, I'm just kidding, that's not why I said it. Uh, all right, y'all go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, if you can point that toe up, that's cool. We're gonna bring it back. Make sure you get a, get a good extension there. Knee up, elbow down, and back out. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll out those hips. We're gonna do another set. So I want you to switch back to the other side. Kick it out, bring that ball up. Same thing, up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll them out a little bit. We gotta switch back. All right, nice stretches. Y'all ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nice job. All right, we are going to stand up. Roll those hips out, kind of like a hula hoop. All right, both directions. Heck, let's grab a water break. Quick water break, but hang on to your ball. We're gonna make it to the right side of your chair. Reach up. Like we have a, a balloon. Like we have a balloon. All right, now I want you to point your toe out. All right, now we're gonna do the exact same thing we were doing in our chair, kind of a mini crunch. When you bring it down, squeeze that ball and bring it back up. Bring it down, squeeze that ball, bring it up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, keep it up. Unless you're tired, go ahead and roll it out. That was a challenge, I'm sure. All right, same thing, we're gonna do 10 more. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, roll it out and switch sides. Same thing. Switch to the other side, ball up on the left, point that toe out. All right, nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Everybody ready? Let's do it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up if you'd like or roll it out. 
All right, same thing. One more set. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Roll out your shoulders. Nice job. All right. Let's go ahead and put our ball in our chair. All right, y'all go ahead and come around to the front. Our legs should be nice and warm. Right now, let's go ahead and just focus on a couple of hip rolls. And do not forget your deep breaths because the work ain't over yet. All right, now we're over our seat. Just watch your ball, okay? We're gonna do mini squats. And that means for you, if this is your regular squat, your mini squat's gonna look like this. All right, so watch yourself. You know exactly what you can do because what's gonna happen is we're gonna pick up our pace. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, kick it out. Woo! Kick it out and I'm talking too much, got to breathe. All right, <laughs> let's do 10 more mini squats, y'all ready? For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, nice, kick it out. I actually think I missed the last squat. Go ahead and have a seat, uh, grab your ball. Nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I'm trying not to laugh. We have people here that are laughing all around me. And, uh, <laughs> and they're busy and that's okay. We're gonna get busy too. I want you to bring your ball out. All right, y'all ready? What we're gonna do is swing it out to the right. We're gonna bring it back and swing it out to the left. I want you to keep those arms ahead of you. And yes, this is coordination for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stop in the front, we're gonna switch it up and go out this way, all the way out. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Good, y'all go ahead and roll out those shoulders. Nice deep breaths. Whew, goodness, I was like having to concentrate. I don't know about y'all. Did anybody miss and forget to switch their uh, ball? It's okay. We're gonna do something different. Right now we're gonna stretch. I want you to reach up on your right. All I want you to do is reach over a little bit. Get you a good stretch on the side. Reach up, bring it down. You can go ahead and switch that ball to the other hand, bring it up. Right now you can be using that ball to your advantage if you wanna squeeze it. <laughs> okay, bring it back up and back down. I want you to put these guys away. Grab a water break. Now we're gonna grab our weights. <laughs> I'm so glad. I hope everybody else is smiling because this is so much fun. It's Christmas time. Great thing to close out this year we don't ever want to see again. All right, you've got your weights. You're in front of your chair. All right, you wanna make sure that anytime we do something, you're close enough, you've either got your chair for balance or you've got a seat if you need it. All right, I want you to bring your weights up in front of you about 90 degrees. All right, I want you to tuck your belly in, tuck your butt in. I want you to bring those weights up to your shoulders, back down, up, not all the way down here. I want you to control them right about here, just like this. Tighten that core. All right, for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it to the middle. I'll bring it to the side. Y'all can uh, stay where you're at. All right. 
All we're doing here is bringing it back to get those shoulder blades to touch and bringing it back to the front for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, remember to keep those shoulders up. All right, now bring your weights up. All right, now we're going straight up and back down to about 90 degrees. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll out your shoulders. What was that? Am I hearing noises? Are we getting to be, oh, oh, yeah. You're supposed to work that out, aren't we? Clicking, we're talking about clicking. Okay, bring it back up. This time, we're only gonna do it in fives. So our reps are fives, one more set. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it to the middle. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring it to the top. Five, four, three, two, one. And I know y'all were holding those bellies in the whole time. Yep, let's get ready and sit down. Roll out your shoulders, hang on to your weights. Remember, if you need a water break, go ahead and take one anytime. And don't forget our deep breaths. In through our nose, and out through our mouth. One more time. In through our nose, and out through our mouth. All right, I want you to go ahead and bring uh, both weights to your right leg. They're sitting on your thigh. Remember, anytime you need to modify, if you only want one weight or if you want to use no weights at all, that is perfectly okay. We're still getting some work. All right, you're sitting up straight, tilt it back just slightly. Let's go ahead and bring that foot out so we can see the bottom. We're gonna bring it back up. Here we go, more sit-ups. I'm gonna say these are crunches, not many crunches for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it back in and switch. Working on the other side. All right, everybody's ready, bring it up. Tighten that core, bring it out. We wanna see the bottom of your shoe. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now bring them back over. And again, remember, might be time to take some weight off. All right, you're sitting up straight. Now, all we wanna do is if you can do double weights, that's great. We're gonna go repetitively on one side. We're gonna get out, or I'm sorry, get off the motorbike, the motorcycle, right? All right, we're getting off and we're getting back on. For 10, you're sitting up straight. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, that core is nice and tight. Switch it over, roll out that hip a little bit. All right, same thing, you're sitting up straight. Get out on the other side or get off, excuse me, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll out your hips. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and put our weights up. We're not gonna need any equipment right now. Grab a good water break and a deep breath. Oh, this is cool. All right, to the right side of your chair. I thought I was gonna have to move my chair. All right. All right, we're on the side of our chairs. Okay, I want you to bring your knee up. Bring that knee up, hopefully to right about the hip line. If it needs to be down here, you pay attention to how you feel, because we're gonna do a lot with it up. All right, all we're doing right now is up and down. And again, tighten that core when you bring it up. 
for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We always have a challenger in the room. Always. So what she's doing, and I don't necessarily instruct this way, but absolutely, if y'all want to challenge yourself to do those while you're not, not holding anything, you're welcome to, right? But right now, while we're on this side, I want you to lift it up, and I want you to bring that out, kind of like opening a gate. For 10, 9, I'm giving it a little push, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice. Go ahead and walk it out. And come to the other side. Whew. All right, she's gonna do it again. I can just see it coming. Bring it up if you want. Watch your balance though, see I can't do it. All right, bring it down, point your toe, bring it back up. All right, for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Kick it out if you need to. All right. Bring it up. Hold it up as high as you can and bring it out. All right. For 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, keep it up, three, <laughs> two, and one. Nice job. Come to the front of your chair. We're going to stretch those hips. We're going to stretch those legs. First thing, let's roll it out just a little bit. Roll it out. All right, you're here in case you need to sit down. Open those legs. And uh, as other instructors have pointed out just recently, Sometimes you need to turn your feet out. Others might need to turn it forward and watch how low you go. We're gonna stretch one side. We're going to the right. And we're gonna bring it to the left. And back to the right. Easy stretch on the inner thigh. Back to the left. Do you see? I'm by my chair. I'm by my chair. We all lose our balance. That has been a struggle for me lately. <laughs> Back to the other side and one more time to the left. All right, bring it up. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna move my chair if y'all need to. Y'all go ahead and do what y'all need to do to make room, I know. Um, so bring it to the side so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Okay, get in position where you have room to kick your leg back and you're not gonna kick anybody or anything. All right, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kick it out to the side and bring it back. We're gonna kick it to the back and bring it back in, just like this and like this. Go at your own pace, be careful and watch those hips. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> you know how they say laugh with like nobody's watching. I know y'all are watching, but I can't stop. Y'all are making me laugh. Are you okay? All right, same thing, opposite side. So now you're gonna be kicking out that right leg to the side and back. Remember up, back. All right, for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it down and roll it out. All right, while we're in this position, put those hands on the chair. Let's go ahead and do some stretching. Walk it back, all right. Now we're trying to stretch out that spine, easy stretch on the back of the legs, bend those knees just a little bit. Make sure your, uh, your head is at arm level or above it. Easy stretch. 
Nice deep breaths too. <laughs> All right, if you need to, lift those heels off the floor and easy stretch in the lower back, kind of arch your back like a cat. And bring it back down. All right, and walk it in. About halfway, actually. We're gonna do these, because I think we can. We're gonna go ahead and start on your right. I want you to step back, and I, wanna, I want you to watch what I'm doing. I'm holding on with one hand so you can see. I'm gonna bring my knee up, just like this, and I'm gonna kick my leg out. I want you to watch how high you go and make sure you've got your balance. Bring it out. Now I'm holding on with both. I just wanna make sure that when you bring it up, you can clear that chair and bring it out. Y'all ready? For 10, nine, eight, Seven, point that toe down if you can. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, stop and everybody smile. Oh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna switch, y'all don't have to. All right, make sure y'all know that you're doing the left side. All right, same thing. Okay, go back, make sure you walk it out, make sure you've got enough room to clear that knee when you bring it up and bring it out, back up and out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. In case y'all didn't know, I have janglies on my neck. And it's happening every time I move, which is very cool. All right, go ahead and bring your chair to the front. All right, back to the front. Y'all grab a water break. We're gonna work some with our bands. Deep breaths. <laughs> We're sitting down, good idea, Jane, good idea. We're gonna have a seat. <laughs> okay, all right, go ahead and come to the front of your chair. All right, let's give these guys a go. Wrap it, we're doing what we call the clam. All right, I want you to bring those bands over. All right, now the idea, and everybody does a little different, Make sure you keep your handle loose, your hand loose from your handle. All right, wrap it. So you've got tension pulling that band in so your knees are touching and you've got tension. When you push it out, it should be tight, right? Tighten that core every time you do, you're sitting up straight. All right, you can roll those feet out, get a good stretch in the outer ankle, which is really good for you. Thank the Lord for chiropractors and therapists. All right, for 10, nine, massage therapist, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, if you need to rest it, go ahead. You might wanna tighten it up a little more or loosen it up if you need to. Watch those hips. We're giving it some really good control right now. All right, we're gonna do 10 and at the, uh, when we get to the count of one, we're gonna hold it out nice and tight. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, y'all ready? We're gonna hold it out nice and tight for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one nice job whoo let's go ahead and loosen up that band oh i bet those hips feel a little looser just a little bit or a lot let's go ahead and step on our bands all right i want you to start here okay you have tension on your bands they're they're under your feet you've got both handles all right this time we're going to bring it up you can lift as high as you can but i want to make sure that you're sitting up straight all right, don't lean in, bring it up and down, tighten that core for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nice and controlled, nice and slow. You can ask professionals why we do that because we're building muscle and you can feel it as it gets warm, but if it gets hot and hurtful, that it's time to stop. You've got to give yourself a, a rest. Okay, we're going to do another set of those, but I want to make sure you're sitting up straight. Okay, that's key. I want you to bring it up and back down. Every time you bring it up, tighten that cord and back down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Now, all right, relax that band. I want you to ro roll those shoulders out. Nice and relaxed. All right, now I want you to bring your band up. I want you to cross it over the top and in a, I'm sorry, yeah, bring it over the top and cross it underneath your sole right there. So when you bring it up, there's no chance you're gonna lose that band, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually bring it in right now. All right, we're lying on our upper body just kind of give us some stability. We're gonna bring our leg out to the right and we're gonna bring it back in. We're gonna bring it out and back in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now bring it in just a little bit more. I just want y'all to get an easy stretch on the back of your leg. You're still sitting up straight. I don't bring it very high. Gotta be careful with these. These are sensitive muscles. Sometimes we get tight in the quads in the front and we forget the hamstrings are smaller muscles. I have so been instructed by my chiropractor. <laughs> All right, nice stretch. Go ahead and bring that back in. If you're easy, left it lifting that off. You can keep that loop and you can slide it in or onto the other foot, but you still gotta make sure it's tied off at the bottom. All right, same thing, bring it up. All right, you're sitting up straight, bringing it out to the side. Might need to hold onto that chair. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now let's walk it in. All right, remember, loosen that knee a little bit, easy stretch. You're sitting up straight. All right, go ahead and bring it in. All right, we are gonna stand up with our bands. I need to kick out, kick them out a little bit. Let's go ahead and roll them a little bit. All right, come to the right side of your chair. Drop the band or the handle rather, closest to your chair. I want you to step on your band. All right, make sure you're nice and stable. Hang on to that chair. All right, I want you to bring the band up to here. Now, I want you to bring it around to the back, right, about midway behind your arm. All right, I want you to bring it up. When you bring it back down, control the band to right about here and bring it up, back down and up. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, easy down. I want you to step out. All right, the reason we're doing that is we need more tension because we're gonna start at the waist. Remember, shoulders up, back and down, tuck in that belly and that butt. I want you to bring it up to the shoulder, control it to right about here. All right for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Good. Now bring it down and roll it out. We're switching sides. We have got to balance it out. Same thing. Handle closest to your chair. All right. Bring it up and around. All right. Remember, we're bringing it up and bringing it down to right about here and back up. Tighten that core for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now bring it down easy. Step out. Check your tension. Right about here, right? And up to the shoulder. I'm going to step back in a little bit. It's a little tight. A little too much. All right. Right about here and up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Good. Nice. Roll those shoulders. Yeah, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do the bow and arrow. Watch your shoulders, please. Everybody be careful. We've used them a lot. All right. So I want you to grab both handles in your right hand. I want you to step out towards your right wall. All right. This will look like a bow. And we will look like we're letting go of an arrow. Right. Bring it back straight. Watch the tension on the back. Your front wrist is straight and strong. All right. For 10, nine, eight. If you're off balance, just stand there. For six, five, four, three, two. I want you to hold it back nice and strong for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Roll out those shoulders. We have done a lot of work. So as soon as we're finished balancing this out, we're gonna grab a water break and start cooling this exercise down. All right, same thing opposite side. Make sure that you've got your front wrist strong and straight. Watch your tension in the back. You know your shoulders best. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Y'all ready? Hold it back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Roll it out. Woo! All right. Let's put those bands away. Grab a couple of deep breaths and a good water break. All right. Let's go ahead and have a seat. All right, everybody ready? Kick out, oops, I'm gonna start on the right. I've been consistent, let's try to keep it that way. Bring it back, I want you to bring it out. I want you to bring it out intentionally, point those toes up. Bring it out again. All right, and back. Now let's pick up the pace a little bit. You're sitting up straight. All right, now, <laughs> opposite arm up. Can you do it? Because I'm going to get y'all in a second. <laughs> All right, now keep it there. <laughs> I did it to myself. It's really hard to do that. It is. It really is because you got to keep it there, right? You have to delay it. I switched sides, but I messed up the first time. That's what I was saying. I'm going to try to get y'all. I got myself. All right, keep it there and your opposite, right? <laughs> you just have to delay that step in your arms. All right, cool. Let's step out. Out. Room not to kick anything over. <laughs> Put it all away. That's what I'm saying. To the front and now to the sides. To the front. And out to the sides. To the front one more time. And out one more time. And keep those legs there. Go ahead and uh, roll out those hips a little bit. All right, right now, I want you to go ahead and kick out your right leg. 
I want you to keep that knee loose. I want you to point up your, point your toe toward the ceiling, your toes. I want you to sit up straight. I want you to reach up and then rest your arm on your leg and reach out. All right, keep your head up, but don't strain your neck. That was a point that we made. Look ahead of you, but don't try to look too, too far back. Nice deep breaths, easy stretch. I know a lot of people are doing the toe touch and that's okay, keep those heads up. All right, bring it back in. I want you to put your hands under your thigh and relax your leg. All right, using your upper body strength, I want you to roll your hip. All right, you're rolling it in a circle. All right, now I want you to stop whichever direction you were going, I want you to roll it the opposite way. All right, while it's up in the air, I want you to cross that ankle over the opposite thigh. All right, you're sitting up straight. Don't forget your deep breaths along the way. All right, you can push down or bear down on this thigh. You can lift this heel up. You can also lift your heel off the floor. There's several combinations you can do. I'm gonna bring my heel back down and I'm gonna lean forward. I'm gonna hinge at the hips, right? We're not working, stressing out that waist or anything. You wanna keep that back straight and hinge at the hip. You're bringing it in, hips, uh, hips. It's gonna take both. <laughs> okay. All right, if you're getting enough, bringing that heel off the floor, I can do this stretch all day, I'm telling y'all right now. But what we're actually gonna do, is we're gonna bring our hands together and we're gonna try to brace right here, right bring, and we're gonna try to bring that knee toward the opposite shoulder. So now we're looking over our right shoulder and hopefully you're getting a little deeper stretch. Right, 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 okay. So I don't wanna forget, see? Okay, <laughs> y'all go ahead and kick out. We're gonna work on the other side while we're out front. Okay, go ahead and loosen up that knee, point your toes up, sit up straight, reach up. All right, go ahead and rest here and bring it in. Just remember if you're touching that toe, don't go down too far, watch that, keeping that those eyes up basically. Above our heart, that's the goal. Easy stretch. All right, now, same thing. Reach under the thigh, all right? You're sitting up straight. You just wanna kind of relax, right? The hips, so you can roll it in circles. All right, what I want you to do now is I want you to stop whichever direction that you're going and reverse it, opposite direction. All right, while your leg's up in the air, go ahead and cross it over the opposite thigh. We're doing the same thing. Remember your combinations. You can even start here by hinging at the hip. I know some people like to bring those arms behind them. Um, I don't do that. I am actually concerned about falling forward, <laughs> but that's me, okay? Not everybody's like that. Um, so um, you can press down here on your thigh. You can uh, go ahead and point this heel toward the ceiling. What I like to do is sit up straight, and then if I need a little more that day, I lift my heel off the floor. Nice deep press. All right, hands together, brace it here. Bring that knee toward the opposite shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. All right, bring it down. Yep, I could forget that. Um, I'm gonna have to start counting that out in my head. Okay, go ahead and bring it toward the right wall. All right, your knees above your heel in the front. This leg down, we're gonna work on stretching it. So I want you to go ahead and um, uh, put some support right here in the front on the right thigh. And I want you to push back just slightly. The goal right now is to get some, um, the front of that thigh stretched out, right? If you feel like you need more, you might need to walk those toes back a little bit, something like that. All right, if you've got enough, just stay right where you're at for five, 
four, three, two, and one. Now bring it in. I want you to go ahead and bring that foot around, cross your ankles on the side of your chair. Now we're using the back of our chair. We can push a little bit with our right hand, pull a little bit on the left. Now, if you don't have this, I'm gonna swing around to the front and I'm just gonna show you guys the modification that we like to show. This can this is a good modification for a couple of exercises, but put that hand right here on the hip, put this one on the thigh, and I want you to try to rotate. Okay, that's basically what we're doing. All right, y'all go ahead and bring it back to the front. All right, for anybody that needs to modify, just switch it, go this way or bring it all the way to the side. Okay, now we're doing this before we move on. Go ahead and put your um, knee over your ankle. All right, make sure this thigh right here is the one you're focused on. I want you to, re uh, I'm sorry, push back and try to get a stretch there. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring it around and this is where you might modify. All right, let's go ahead and use the back of our chair in easy twist. All right, bring it around to the front. All right, I want you to sit back in your chair. I want you to sit up straight. All right, try to relax. I want you to drop your uh, right ear to your shoulder. Now you should get a stretch on the outer left part of your neck. If not, I want you to relax and drop your arm on that side, not literally, just relax it. <laughs> like you'll be like, um, you just dropped your arm on the floor, seriously? Seriously, no? Okay, and hopefully you're getting a stretch right here. All right, bring it up. Now, while we're up this way, I want you to look over your right shoulder. All right, bring it back to the front. Relax again. All right, here goes. Go ahead and drop that left ear to the shoulder and drop the outer arm. Relax. All right, bring it up. Now I want you to look over that shoulder. All right, bring it back to the front. I want y'all to reach back. Nice chest extension. I want you to try to get those shoulder blades to touch. Nice stretch. I want you to bring it to the front. If you'd like to arch your back a little bit, Still need a little bit more of stretch in that lower back. Bring it back up. All right, I want you to bring your arms up. Starting here, I want you to just reach out all the way. Stretch, stretch, stretch. All right, now I want you to bring your arms up. Stretch, 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 breathe in. And let all of that air out, because we are done. <sighs> nice. Merry Christmas, it's getting close. Well, there you have it. Another great senior workout from Pflugerville Community Church. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. Here at Pflugerville Community Church, we offer many outstanding programs designed for seniors as well as the entire family. Our Sunday services are conducted with social distancing and COVID-19 protocols in place. Extra efforts are taken to ensure you have a safe worship experience. Our service times are at 9 and 1030 with an additional Spanish service at noon. If you're looking for a godly, family-friendly, community-involved church home, we provide it all here at Pflugerville Community Church, and we'd be thrilled to have you visit anytime. It might just be what you and your family are looking for. You can check us out online at pc-church.org. Until next time, we wish all the blessings our mighty God provides for you and your family. Bye-bye.